Over the last couple of weeks, I've made a decent bit of custom weapons in Photoshop, but I've actually made quite a few that never ended up getting their own video. But today I'd like to show you some of those, so you can see what my limits are right now. Let's check them out. The reason that I would give up on a weapon is usually because at some point, things just aren't looking good for one reason or another. That doesn't mean it can't be done, it just means it'll take more time and effort than it's probably worth. Take Dead Man's Tail, for example. The shapes on this weapon are great, and they would all come together incredibly well if it wasn't for the lighting on it. These huge glares mess up so much about the blending. But another reason was the resolution. This would however no longer be a problem since I use 4K screenshots now. Resolution was an even bigger problem with Silicon Neuroma. That's because this weapon is huge, so proportionally each piece appears very small on the inspect screen. The handle, for example, gets so few pixels compared to something like Eyes Luna's handle. Again, this would be much less of a problem now than before when I made these. But the problem isn't always as simple as resolution. Sometimes the weapon I chose is just a bad weapon to make other weapons out of. Take Hothead, for example. The hand cannon turned out pretty cool, but that's about all you can really do with it. It's really just a barrel and a grip, so making any kind of distinct shape for weapons like fusion rifles or auto rifles would be nearly impossible. After realizing that, I moved on, but this hand cannon is pretty neat. I had a sort of similar problem with 1000 voices. I'm sure one day I'll be able to do a full set of 1k voices weapons, but it was such a pain just to get this hand cannon together, and after this shotgun I figured I wasn't ready for something like this. I have to mention, my reason for actually making this video and not just a video on the next weapon is because this was supposed to be a video on Fighting Lion, and Fighting Lion weapons started out looking really really good. But once I got to the sniper I realized that this wasn't going to go well. Any rifle style weapon would look pretty dumb unless I put a large amount of time into it. And I'm not opposed to spending more time on weapons, but I've got quite a bit of recommendations to get to and I'd like to upload two or three times a week. These three though ended up being some of my favorite weapons I've made. And actually, I made some pretty cool looking frigid jackal weapons too. These really aren't so bad, except for the top of the shotgun. I moved on from these though for a few reasons. First of all, the resolution was a little weak. But also, there were so many other weapons I wanted to get to at the time, and while Frigid Jackal might mean a lot to me, it likely doesn't to 99% of people who play Destiny. I'm glad I get to show these here though. And it wouldn't be right if I didn't end on this one. It's Shaxx. If you've watched any of my oldest gunsmithing videos, I used to make guns out of assets around different patrol areas. And at the end, I turned an NPC into a hand cannon. First, it was Devrim K. Then I made the legendary Shaw Hand Cannon. And I pretty much stopped there. It really stopped when I made the Kvostov video. When I made that video, I realized how much better it looks when you make guns out of guns instead of making them out of barrels and chests. And Devrim. It's firstly because I don't need to trick you into thinking a tree stump is actually a grip. I can just use an actual grip. But it's also because of the angle at which weapons are displayed on the inspect screen. They're slightly pointed towards the camera. This angle shows a lot of detail and gives the weapon dimension. But I used to make all my weapons flat because I took screenshots of assets head on, not at this specific angle. This meant that all my old weapons looked very flat and unconvincing. And that's just what happened here to Shax. While I can try and skew the images to give them the perception of a different angle, it's not actually exposing those angles of the object that I would need to make it truly convincing. I look forward to taking more recommendations from you guys. I'm trying to figure out how I should communicate to each person that their suggestion didn't work and still show them the few weapons that did look good. A community post would be the perfect solution, but YouTube is so backwards that you aren't allowed to use community posts to effectively talk to your community until you've built up a thousand subscribers. How am I supposed to do that if I can't communicate with them? In the meantime, I'll just keep posting these short compilations of failed projects and credit each commenter for their suggestion. I'll also let you know in advance if your recommendations didn't go to plan. Maybe I could make a Discord sometime in the future. Let me know what you think about that. I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Take care.